hey, you know, it's possible that the, the longest coli calcification and edema could be a very clinically relevant. One of the things that I saw continually a lot in my residency, and because we dealt with a lot more acute pain patients there than I do in private practice, was facet syndrome. And her presentation was close enough to facet syndrome for what she had, which was, even though she had restrictions in all ranges of motion, looking up was the absolute worst for her. Looking down provided her a tiny bit of relief, although she still had quite a bit of pain and couldn't go, go very far. And then the other thing was severe, severe tenderness over the paraspinal muscle, so the erector spinae muscle group, over top of what's called the articular pillar. That articular pillar is where the facet joints are, as you have your, your inferior articular process, your lamina and then your superior articular process and those are in succession that creates the articular pillar and those are where the facet joints are going to be found. So severe, severe tenderness palpation with the left side, which was the worst side for her. And so, you know, I talked with her and said, hey, you know, it's possible that the, the longest coli calcification and edema could be a very clinically relevant thing. It's really hard to know right now because we can't do a proper physical exam on you. But one thing I do know is that there is more than likely some facet mediated pain with this. Whether it's the only thing, whether it's part of the thing, I had a good suspicion that that was part of it. So what do we do? Well, I really wanted to know to what degree that this was the case. And so we decided to do what's called medial branch blocks. So we blocked the medial branch, which is a branch off of the dorsal rami that wraps around the actual lamina and then it's gonna innervate the facet joint. So anybody who has had or know somebody who has had a radio frequency ablation for the spine, whether that's in the neck, the thoracic spine, the low back, it is almost always that nerve that is getting burned, the medial branch, which because it innervates the facet joint. So we did a really, really low volume of just an anesthetic around the medial branch where that is wrapping around the lamina in order to see if we could create some change in her pain for a temporary period of time such that we would be able to determine how much of this pain uh, can be from uh, the facet joint. So we did that and we speak with, we did a, a short and a long acting anesthetic. So we predicted about 12 hours relief immediately after. So initially we just treated C2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5, because it seemed like most of her pain was in the upper. And so we do that and immediately getting off the table, she already reports that she's 80% better. And so that's gonna be from the short acting lidocaine that we use in the injection. So already we know that, hey, there's a huge portion of this pain that is related to the facet joints and maybe even a like, I mean, at 80%, a huge, huge, huge significant uh, portion related to the facet joints. 